Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our topic of discussion, chlorine and its compounds. Uh, last lesson, we learned about one method that can be used to prepare chlorine gas, and that is uh, oxidation of concentrated hydrochloric acid using manganese for oxide, which we said that requires heating. Now, there are other methods that can also be used to prepare chlorine gas. <clears throat> also, uh, the other methods of preparing chlorine gas, they involve an oxidizing agent. Uh, for example, one, uh, there is uh, the reaction, or you can say that uh, the oxidation oxidation of concentrated hydrochloric acid, that is HCl using potassium manganate 7 using potassium manganate 7 and on this no heating is required no heating is required uh, because potassium manganate 7 is a stronger oxidizing agent is a stronger oxidizing agent. So in this, the setup is just done like the previous setup that we saw, except that here there is no heating that is done. So in this case, we have uh, potassium manganate 7 oxidizing concentrated hydrochloric acid. And on this, you get... Uh, potassium chloride, you get uh, manganese 2 chloride plus water plus chlorine. The next thing is to make sure that that equation is balanced. Potassium, uh, manganese is not balanced. No, it's balanced also. Um, oxygen, there are four. There, there are, uh, is only one. Hydrogen, there is one. Here, there are two. So if you balance the oxygen, you'll put a four. To balance the oxygen, to balance the hydrogen, you'll put an eight. Eight hydrogens. Chlorine, there are eight. Here there are two plus two, that is four. You can make these ones to be If you make this to be 2, that makes 4 plus 2 plus 2, that is 4 plus 4, that is 8. Potassium, there are 2. Manganese, there are 2. Oxygen, there are... 16 
can counter check potassium there are two manganese there are two also two there oxygen there are eight so this should be eight as well then uh, hydrogen there are eight here so that is four chlorine there are eight here there are two plus four that is six plus two so you can 2k 2k mn two oh that is eight hydrogen 16 chlorine 16 that's 2 plus 4 6 so this should be 5 2 plus 4 that is 6 16. 5 to make it 10. I think now it's balanced. 2K to counter check. 2MN. 2MN. 8O. 8O. 16H. 8 times 2, 16H. 16CL. 2Cl plus 4Cl, that is 6 plus, yeah. So the equation is balanced like that. So basically we are saying that uh, uh, in this reaction, uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid is oxidized using potassium manganate 7, which is a stronger oxidizing agent, and therefore no heating is required. Another method uh, is uh, oxidation. of concentrated HCl, hydrochloric acid, using lead 4 oxide. And this one is lead 4 oxide plus concentrated hydrochloric acid. And here we have lead 2 chloride plus water plus chlorine gas so also to ensure it's balanced lead is balanced oxygen not balanced it should be 2 here um, hydrogen, there are four, so also here they should be four. Chlorine, there are two plus two, that is four, so that equation is, is balanced. So basically, those are two other methods that can be used uh, to prepare uh, chlorine gas. Now, um, so we can say that chlorine gas... Before you get to that, I can also mention something about observations during the experiment. Either of those experiments. One is that uh, there is effervescence. Uh, due to evolution of a gas. And of course, you are saying that that gas is chlorine. Uh, number two, 
besides the effervescence, another observation, we observe a green yellow gas. That is the color of chlorine. Uh, the blue litmus paper that is put uh, at the gas jar uh, turns red, then turns white. The moist blue litmus paper turns red, then white. And that's an indication that uh, uh, chlorine forms an acidic solution uh, that is also a bleaching agent. So that is basically the observations that you'll make. So the next uh, step, uh, let's uh, discuss the physical properties. Physical properties of chlorine gas. As mentioned, it's in terms of the color, green, yellow, gas in color. The other physical property is in terms of the smell. Chlorine has a pungent and irritating smell. And this smell is not just irritating, the gas is highly poisonous and that's why uh, the reaction should be conducted in a fume cupboard. In a fume cupboard because chlorine gas is highly poisonous. Uh, we've also uh, seen that uh, chlorine is collected by downward delivery, so it's denser than air. Hence, collected by downward delivery. All these are physical properties. It's fairly soluble in water. It's fairly soluble in water. Uh, that's why we, when we passed it through water, it's only the hydrogen chloride gas that was able to dissolve and small traces of chlorine gas. Uh, also, chlorine turns moist blue litmus paper red, then white. So basically those are the physical properties of chlorine. It's a green yellow gas in color. Uh, so the observation that uh, is seen during the experiment uh, has a pungent and irritating smell. Uh, it's denser than air, hence collected by downward delivery. It's fairly soluble in water. It's also important to, to note something. A point to note. An NB is that chlorine gas should be prepared in the fume chamber or outside in the open. Because it is highly poisonous, is a highly poisonous gas when inhaled, is a highly poisonous gas when inhaled. So we'll have an assignment on what we have discussed. So the first question in the assignment, uh, write a balanced chemical equation for preparation of chlorine 
using potassium manganate 7? Number two, why is chlorine prepared outside in the open? And lastly, number three, state four physical properties of chlorine gas. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.